Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. And do it a little bit differently this time. I'm going to be doing you and another person over on this side. The other person is going to be somebody that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. It could be somebody different that you, uh, you know, you you're, you're say that you don't think about them, but you do. You know, that kind of thing. But anyway, this is a, on this side, you will find that... Um, there is somebody predominantly in your energy and their energy is going to come up. So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Capricorn for the week ahead? Letting go of something. Mm, maybe a father that is letting go of something. I'm not sure. But anyhow, the emperor is a person that is in a position of authority. Could be a judge, a ruler, a dictator that is making a wise decision. So a wise decision is going to be made this week. You may be the one making the decision. Whatever is happening, this is somebody that is making an informed decision for the uh, best for everybody that is involved okay this is somebody that is going to make the decision based on you know everybody okay what's best for everybody involved so there is going to be a decision that is made and it does have to do with letting something go because the four of pentacles upright is holding on reversed it is letting go so somebody is going to be letting go of something that they have been holding on to appears to be a very masculine energy that is making the decision or is going to be the one that is letting go. So what do we have for the other person? This is somebody who has a lot of experience that is in charge. This is somebody that is in charge that is making the decision. What do we have for the other person? Ooh. So somebody that you're dealing with, somebody that you're dealing with has a golden opportunity. This is a yes answer. There's, there's some sort of plans that are be put, being put into action. This is somebody that is on a mission. There's somebody that is taking a new approach. We have a long-term stable offer that is coming or that is available. This is something you can hold on to forever, something that can grow into long-term stability. So somebody is going to be receiving something of value, whoever this person is. This person is receiving something of value. This is somebody that is a protector of some sort. Um, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is somebody that is very honest, very truthful, very authentic, that has some sort of plan. This person could be a public speaker. This person, whoever this person is, it feels as though they are putting their plans in action and they're going to, and, they're, and they have an opportunity that they, that, that is very solid. So this is a solid, stable opportunity over here. Somebody has asked for something. The answer is yes. They're going to get exactly what they asked for. Um, there's an arrival as well. So somebody's, somebody could be rushing in with a solid opportunity. They could be coming in with an offer that could, you know, bring stability. So somebody's going to be angry. <laughs> they, we may have this father figure. I'm not sure. It could be a boss. It could be a father. It's very definitely a masculine that is not going to be happy with an outcome. Okay? This person is unstable. They are corrupt. They do things that are against the law. This is somebody that is irresponsible, that doesn't uh, take responsibility, that doesn't like to be held accountable for their actions. This is somebody that is inexperienced, that is not very stable, structured, organized. Um, 
there is some sort of truth or facts that are coming out about this person, whoever this person is. Um, oh my God. Justice reversed. So there's been some lies. Something didn't, we may have something to do with the law here. It's breaking the law. I'm not sure if somebody is breaking the law. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. But with the Knight of Swords, we have, a, this could be a professional that is telling the truth or is, is very intelligent, very, very sharp. Um, we definitely have some sort of injustice here. There's unfair treatment, there's lies, there's deception, there's lack of integrity. So we, I feel like we have a very masculine energy that is lying, that isn't telling the truth. But it's very clear that they're not telling the truth because of that Knight of Swords. So let's get one more for here and then we'll get some of these. What about this other side? This is somebody that is making an informed decision to let something go. There's been some sort of anguish, anxiety, stress, uh, fears. There's been some fears. We have somebody here that has been scared. They've been very, very fearful. The decision is, is definitely being made. Uh, extremely exhausted, extremely fed up, having a very hard time. We could have some mental issues here. Maybe there's mental health issues. Um, Nine of Swords reversed. This is somebody that um, is extremely depressed or extremely uh, in some sort of extreme turmoil. Hmm. This is a decision that is being made to stop, you know, to stop something. It's very stressful. It is very stressful. So anyway, um, I guess we're gonna take those for over there. What about this side? Okay. So over here we got three on your side or on somebody's side. Bowl, plenty of material things. We have somebody over here that has plenty. Wall, there's a, some misunderstanding. Somebody is up against a brick wall. February, February is very prominent. So this is gonna be a big month where a decision is going to be made. This is the winds of change. So there is definitely going to be a big change. I got a sneeze coming. Excuse me. Let's look over here. What do we have for this side? Obstac obstacles to overcome. So we have somebody over here that it has to overcome an obstacle. This person is angry. They're angry. They are controlling. They are lying about something. And I feel like they uh, need some sort of stability. They're going to be given an opportunity for stability but it's going to be an obstacle. So there's, this person is gonna be dealing with some obstacles this month, and it's because they're controlling. This person does not want to be held accountable, definitely. They don't wanna be held accountable for their actions. Somebody is gonna be held accountable for, for their actions, and it is going to, it's not gonna be easy, but they're gonna be given an opportunity for long-term stability. This person is, um, I don't know, it feels like they break the law. This is this is somebody that feels that they are above the law and this is somebody breaking the law. So there is somebody over here that is breaking the law and they're lying. They're definitely lying about something. And it feels like they're gonna get caught. It feels like they're gonna get caught and they're gonna be facing a challenge because of their lies. There's bad karma here. There is bad karma. So we definitely, it's a very masculine energy that is going to be getting some bad news this person may be dealing with some legal issues that are not going to go in their favor. Um, this is an imbalance of some sort. It may have somebody that has a mental imbalance. Um, definitely a controlling energy. This is somebody who may say that they're experienced, but they're not very experienced. They just want to be in control. This is somebody that is self-centered and conceited and unreasonable. Um, but there is some sort of uh, protection here with this Knight of Swords. That is, that is a protector, somebody that is very sharp, very intelligent, that has some sort of information about this person. Anyhow, 
Let's go back over here. I feel like whoever this is, is making a decision based on a stressful situation. There's been a lot of anxiety. There's been a lot of fear. There's been a lot of stress. There's been a lot of worry. This worry is coming to an end. This is somebody that is taking charge. They're making a decision that is best for everybody involved. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Now this is this is stopping something. This is a dangerous situation. It feels like there's somebody is in danger or they were involved in somebody that has led them into a dangerous situation. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Happiness, growth, new beginning. We're going to have a breakthrough here. There's going to be a breakthrough. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. So there is a new beginning. Somebody is making a decision. They're going to be seeing something very, very, very clearly. This is clarity. This is a bright new start. So somebody is going to be making a decision to give somebody a bright new start. This is a yes answer. This is a yes answer. We have somebody here that has plenty. There's been some sort of misunderstanding with this person who has been lying, trying to control a situation. This is, this is a need to uh, slow down. This is definitely dangerous, out of control. Somebody has been out of control and they've been causing another person a lot of fear. This is a healing light. So there's, this is a, there's a decision that is being made to heal you know, to go after happiness. This is a bright new beginning here. So there is there is a new beginning here. A decision is being made to uh, have a, a new beginning. There is definitely a new beginning. This is releasing stress, releasing a dangerous situation. This is uh, this is freedom of some sort. Ah, fresh start, clean slate. Um, Exciting. This is exciting. So there's an exciting new beginning here to start from scratch. So I don't need the fool card. We, we definitely have a decision that is being made to start. There's a new partnership here or an ex exciting new direction. This is, this is very, very, very exciting. So this is a, a decision that is being made by somebody that is very, very experienced is somebody is getting an opportunity to start from scratch. There could be a new exciting opportunity that is coming. You don't even see it coming. It could be a shock. It could be a surprise. There could be a surprise that is coming. Um, something is coming to fruition that started a long time ago. Okay, it started a long time ago, so something is coming to, maybe it was four years ago, now it's coming to an end. Feels like four years is prominent, with that four of pentacles, it's coming to an end. It's time to heal, okay, it's time to heal, whatever that means, it's time to heal. It's time to stop going in that direction, it's time to end this stressful situation. This is definitely a bright new day. So this is this is happiness. So somebody is making a decision based on uh, in, in a very fertile opportunity for happiness. There's a lot of fertility here. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. So for some of you, you're going to be getting a very exciting offer that makes you extremely happy from somebody that is very experienced. This is somebody that has life experience, that is very educated, that is um, very organized, very structured, all about order, okay? There's, there's some sort of order that is coming, okay? Over here on this side, we have somebody here that has been lying. They have been lying. They have not been telling the truth. They've been controlling. Um, and they're going to be getting an opportunity that leads them to stability as well. Okay, so whoever this other person is that is... Uh, not very experienced, that is on the wrong side of the law, that has been lying, I feel like this person is about to get a wake-up call of some sort. They're going to be facing an obstacle, but it does lead them to stability. Um, 
Knight of Cups reversed. This is somebody that is uh, pretends that they're emotionally available or they pretend that they're loving. They uh, sweep you off your feet and then drop you on the floor. You know, they don't follow through. Uh, this is somebody that is probably not very emotionally available. They're very cold. Um, they don't communicate well. They definitely lie. So this is somebody that is uh, not really emotionally centered they're not emotionally available anyhow Capricorn whoever you're dealing with is probably gonna be in their emotions over you know some sort something not going in their favor the justice reverse is something not going in a person's favor and I feel like they're gonna be extremely emotional they're not getting what they thought that they were going to get so there's gonna be emotions all over the place and I think there could be anger there could be anger um, Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a battle that is coming to an end. Victory after sorrow. And there is this is sad. So whoever this person is, is going to be experiencing some sadness over not getting what they thought that they were going to get. But there will be victory after this sorrow because they're going to get an opportunity for stability. Okay, they're going to head down a path. This is a huge opportunity to you know, go down a path to stability. So I do believe that this person over here is going to be taking a new approach. They may be, I don't know if they're forced to. I mean, this is somebody that is in a position of authority. Could be a judge, could be a father, could be a boss. Somebody is making a decision to go after happiness, you know, to uh, go where it's fertile, where there's going to be growth, and it forces this person to... Um, take ownership of their actions and stop fighting, you know, because it's the six of wands comes after the five of wands. So we definitely have a battle that is coming to an end. That is victory after sorrow. Progress will be made. So we have somebody here that is going to be getting some support. They're going to be getting some, some, some support. This person is going to get be getting some support after they have been in some sort of battle that has been very, very difficult. So anyway, whoever this person is, is going to be getting an opportunity after they deal with some sort of karma. Okay, there's karma. That, this is a karmic debt that needs to be paid. There could be the end of a relationship here. You may have a relationship that is ending with the Knight of Cups reverse that is dissolving because of, you know, bad behavior. The, the Emperor reverse. This is somebody that is egotistical, narcissistic, controlling, manipulative, hard, cold, rigid, you know, deserts you in the time of need and getting some bad karma or getting some sort of um, consequences for their actions. But it does, it does enlighten them in some way. This is an opportunity for success after the sorrow because you only learn from circumstances that, you know, bring you karma, you know. But anyhow, somebody's going to be uh, getting some sort of a wake-up call. That's what it looks like to me. And they're going to be facing an obstacle. So whoever this person is, has probably lost a relationship. They have probably lost a relationship because of their bad behavior, you know, because of their controlling ways. And um, now they're imbalanced. Now they're imbalanced and they're dealing with some, some consequences. There is consequences here with justice reversed. Um, but even though there's consequences, whatever this is, it leads them down the path to stability. So, you know, it may seem like it's a lose-lose situation, but there is victory to be had for this person after they master their emotions and they uh, stop fighting whatever it is that they're fighting. You know, once they, you know, deal with the sorrow because this is victory after sorrow anyhow um so yeah i feel like this is a week where there is a a solid firm decision that is being made to stop something to stop this the stress you know it's time to heal 
It's time to heal. It's time to be happy. It's time to start with a clean slate. Once the decision is made to go down that path, it feels like this, this person uh, is forced to face the obstacle of, you know, owning up to their or holding or being held accountable for their actions. Somebody's going to be held accountable for their actions. They are. And they're losing a relationship. They're losing a relationship of some sort. Hmm. So anyway, Capricorn, I feel like uh, there is going to be a victory for whoever this person is. But it comes after a release. Good luck.